Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm David Young, and yes, we are back at Kentucky Hills Farm with the Hilux. But, we're not actually going to be driving the Hilux this time. We have spoken to the owner, and he said he's going to come with us and we can take his new Chevy farm truck for a spin. I'm so excited, let's jump straight into it. I've never driven this one before. It's fully repaired, alright. Yeah, thanks for letting me drive this, mate. I'll put it in reverse. This is so insane. I know we had a quick look at this last time. But, mmm. Oh, it's fast. I was hard leaving. Accelerating. He said it's got full power. That's right, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full power in this. We didn't have much power in the old Hilux. I'm going to get out onto the road and see what a full send will do. One full send of video. Whoa! And keep in mind, this is just a farm truck. we we'll just put it off-road to the wheel. Now we are going to be doing the same off-road work we did last time when we took the Hilux back to him. Oh, I think I went past the stop sign line, whatever, but never mind. Another full send, how about that? Hold on. I'm going the wrong way. Oh no. No, 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 no. Well, there's only one thing for it. Lock it for wheel drive and low. <laughs> Straight out. Alright, let's get rid of that stuff. No, 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 no. Oh. Alright. Another full scene. Third. Can we hit four? Whoa. I did that last time in the highlight. Yeah, sorry about your front end. I'm sure it'll be fine. I just repaired it, so. So it's alright. I'm going to slow down a bit before that turn, next time I drive here. Alright, we'll go, we'll go this way. Yeah, what's better, the old farm truck Hilux or this? <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd say this. Yeah, yeah. If you'd said the old farm truck as it used to be, well. Now, when I got back from your place last time, when I left, I realised, actually I forgot to ask you, put it for your drive, do you regret selling the Hilux? You don't. Okay. Why not? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I just spun out really quickly. He said that he doesn't regret selling it because it would have cost a lot of money to get to how it is now. Well, I mean, it did cost a lot of money to get to how it is now. And he didn't really need to spend that money. I mean, doing this is still expensive, but it's probably going to last a lot longer. And before you say, oh, but it was a Hilux, it lasts forever. Yes, it does last forever, but this is a brand new truck. It's going to last for decades to come, probably. And he's done all the upgrades on it, so so it's not a joke truck. Alright, I'm going to get a full send into this mud. Low, first, second. Third. Okay, back to second. First. I think the Hilux was a little bit more at home in this than the Chevy is. I gotta admit. This is doing a good job though. I mean the Hilux as it is now. Yeah, as you said, you did get the Hilux uh, stuck in here once, and you still had it, and it was scary. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Let's head down this river. I guess you'd call it a river, wouldn't you? I'm going to put it in high first for a bit. Because we don't want to overheat, I think. Driving the Hilux here didn't overheat. And I can't remember exactly, it was a while ago. Oh, it's too high. Roof rack's great. 
Never mind. I'll put it in low. Up here, five dollars worth of damage. That's not too bad. That'd be like a couple of paint scratches or something. Anyway, repaired that now. The suspension's just doing such a good job. Look at that. Feels really well, well man. Alright, yeah, that was that suspension sleeps over bumps. I reckon this probably would is more suited to being on the farm than the Hilux as it is now. Because the Hilux is more of a hardcore off-road rig. I mean, it's still realistic-ish. But it's... Mm, I don't know if you want something like the Hilux on a farm. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but... This is sort of more suited. Anyway, that's just what I think. Whoa! Pull right off that. Come on, I have to do better than that. I can't remember if I did that in the highlights. I think I might have actually. Anyway, down. Go. Oh no! Oh, I didn't get that to happen. I should have kept an eye on the temperature gauge. Damn it! Oh. <sighs> How annoying. Oh, we're driving in high for a bit. Oh, it's powerful enough. It'll be fine in high, but it's such a pain though. I often manage to overheat vehicles. I've been overheating them a lot in this video, uh, in the latest few videos. Well, more than a few, but whatever. Full scene. Okay, I'm not sure. Whoa, <laughs> did you hear that? Bang! I'm not sure that was the smartest thing to do, but where's the fun in not doing anything like that? Straight over that. Oh, that absorbed it pretty well. Haha, <laughs> mud. I reckon we can go low second. It's back down to cool. Temperature. Oh. Quite a bit up that wall then. So I keep going on low second. I don't know, I just feel like it. Uh, we're sort of at the end of the... Why? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you why. It's because I was sending it and not being careful. Mmm. I wonder where that's going to land. You're sending it off-road and not being careful. When you're about to go down into a river. Hmm. Doing exactly what I did. Yeah. And what I just did again. Oh. That's the problem with a full send to get out of something. As soon as it gets out, it's just going to go and you have to be really quick on the break. you got to hit it as soon as it's out or you're hitting something like a tree or something. I think we're pretty much done this trail. I mean, we still have a bit left, but it's nearing the end. Oh, that was a big walk. I mean, it's gotten to the part where it's a bit of a river, or a little bit of a stream, I guess I should say. It's not really a river. Here we go. One thing I wonder is how deep, or how, sorry, rocky is it in here? Well, it's actually quite rocky, to be honest. Back down here. I mean, it's not flat, that's for sure. How do these lights light up there? Right up the way. Oh, look at that. Flash lighting on this. Now, just to break roleplay, I guess, for a second. Uh, if you want these headlights to shine out in front, it's headlights in the menu on the left when you're in the yard. And it says high-end devices only. So if you've got a really old device, then I'm sorry, you might not be able to use headlights. Uh, that's just that, in case you were wondering. Anyway, thanks man for letting me drive the, the Chevy. I think we'll be back here. Yeah, we're quickly make, be, um, becoming good friends after we bought that Hilux. Whoever thought we'd be driving a full power Chevy down here when it's not even ours. Alright. Well, anyway, it was good to revisit Kentucky Hills Farm again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.